What's going on guys? It's after seven and we're back at it again with another one. 2012 Nissan Sentra. We've got a front left window that is inoperative. We're gonna take the door panel off, see what's going on, and let's fix it. As you can see, window does not work. I can hear it wanting to go up, but it does not want to go down. Up, silent when it goes down. I'm suspecting that we have a bound up window regulator. I'm assuming the motor is functioning correctly since it's trying to go up. Let's take the door panel off and figure out what's going on. Got to remove the cables from right here. They are different. They will only go into each one, so you can't mess it up. Let's go ahead and set this aside. All right, next we got to remove the insulation, the sound barrier here. Uh, what I like to do is use a razor blade and cut the adhesive that's keeping it on. That way, instead of losing it, it stays attached, and you can just tack it right back on. All right, guys, so we've got the window glass held in place with painter's tape to make sure that the glass does not fall down into the door while we are removing the window regulator. That's done. I've got the two bolts that hold the window glass to the regulator removed. Next, we're going to remove the window regulator and take it out of the door and see what's going on. Alright, so the window regulator and the motor have been removed from the vehicle and from the door. Uh, I separated the motor from the regulator and I've attached just the motor back to the connector. And I want to hit the switch and see does it function up and down. Let's see. Here's the motor, kind of hard to see. Plugged in the switch, let's see. No down position. It's got up. Down. Nothing. Up. So next we're going to unplug this motor and check to see if we get voltage from the switch when we press down. If we do, then it's a bad motor. If we don't, then it's going to be a bad switch. So let's see what happens. All right, guys, the key is turned on. Here's the connector to the motor. There's our meter. We've got our switch plugged in. I'm going to attach our negative to a good metal ground. And then I'm going to connect this positive 
to each pin and I'm going to check I got a constant 12 volts reference ground reference alright now here's the pin for going up let's see what happens we already knew it was working when it went up it just wouldn't go down so let's hit the up 12 volts. Let off, zero. Hit up, 12 volts. Let off. All right, let's check the down function. We're going to move from th this pin to the down pin. Connect to our ground. All right, I'm going to hit down. Ready? Nothing. Down. Oh, that's up hit down nothing down nothing Let's switch back to up up 12 volts up 12 volts switch over down nothing alright guys this is a prime example of how diagnosing can save you tons of money the window regulator for this car was two hundred dollars he doesn't need it would have been a waste of money. With this testing, we were able to figure out that the problem is the switch. Now, I don't know how much this switch is because you probably have to get the whole thing, but the point being is we've identified what the problem is. Know what you're working on, know your wiring diagram, know your fundamentals. This is After 7 Garage, signing off. We're gonna put this back together and get a window switch.